To be quite honest, I am sweating so much right now and I am not wearing pants. Anyways, um, hi you guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be doing my fall essentials, my makeup essentials, so like all of my favorite fall things kind of. I got this idea from Jamie Page Beauty and she is a very popular makeup artist here on YouTube. And basically I'm going to be showing you my favorite blushes, eyeshadows, and lip products for the fall time. And yeah, let's get started. Let's start with eyes first. And I'm sure you guys saw this coming. This is my Morphe 35O palette. And it is gorgeous. It is just a bunch of warm shades. It has lots of orangey tones you can see here. Nice muted browns. And then this is kind of like a maroony shade. I don't know. It's just lots of warm tones, which is always a an amazing staple for fall. I also have my MAC Warm palette. It's called the Warm Neutral palette. These are 15 eyeshadows and it was significantly more expensive than this one even though it is um, a lot smaller but whatever it's MAC, whatever, I don't know, name brand stuff. But I think the, the colors are so pretty. Um, Saddle is a great, really nice warm brown, brown transition shade. This is a very nice red brown. Um, yeah, this is so pretty and I will be swatching one of these. Let's take a segue onto the next two products. The next two eyeshadows are Kathleen Lights by ColourPop, which comes in the Kathleen Lights Quad and Amber Lights, which is right here. Um, that's what this eyeshadow was based off of. They're not the same, but they are related to each other, you could say. So I'm going to swatch both of them next to each other. And I think these two shades are so perfect. They're such beautiful coppers for the fall time. Next, I have another MAC eyeshadow. This is Woodwinked, and this is a very nice neutral brown, you could say. It does have this like weird reddy brown undertone, but it's very, very pretty. It's kind of a bronzy and this is so nice all over the lid, just like one lid color. It is so gorgeous. And it's super simple if you want that type of look. And since most of my eyeshadows were like palettes, um, this is the last one from this little eyeshadow category. And this is my Sephora eyeshadow in Red Wine. And I used to use this in tutorials all the time, and I don't know why, I kind of forgot about it. But I'm bringing this thing back out because it is amazing. It's just like the most beautiful burgundy. It's kind of actually more of like a purpley undertone, but like, oh my god, it's so pretty. It looks more purple on camera, but it, it, it does have a very like subtle muted red undertone. Grapey, I, I get the name Red Wine. So here we have Sephora's Red Wine, ColourPop's Kathleen Lights, Max Amber Lights, and MAC Woodwinked. The next category is blush. Now the blush I'm wearing today is this one. It is ColourPop's Quarters, and I have talked about this before. It's like a corally auburn brown shade. I don't know. I think it is so nice for fall. It is so, so pretty, and I... I'm running out of fingers to swatch this on, but there it is. It looks very, very strong on my arm, but it does really, it blends out so beautifully, and it's just the most beautiful, like, fall-appropriate coral, you could say. It has a very nice orangey undertone, which makes it very fall-appropriate, and I do find it almost looks like you, you've been outside in, like, the cold. It's like a frost, not frostbitten, but just, like, you're cold and you're blushing type of look. I have one more ColourPop blush and that is Cheerio. This is so damn gorgeous. Like I literally die whenever I wear it. I think it is the most beautiful blush ever. It's a lot darker but you shouldn't be afraid of it because it is still, it is so pretty. It is just like, it has a very nice raspberry undertone you could say and there is a sheen to it so it just has like the most beautiful sheen. Next, I have this gorgeous blush from NARS. This is the color Seduction, and I did use this in my last tutorial. It is the most beautiful burgundy color. As you can tell, I'm very into like maroons and reds and purples, and I find that blushes are very, very hard to swatch unless they're like ColourPop, like the um, cream ones. So this is a very hard powder, but it does look very, very gorgeous on the cheeks. I'm going to try my best to build this color up for you. 
And last for the face, or face besides the lips, um, I have a highlighter, and this is Becca's Champagne Pop. This is the one that they created with Jaclyn Hill, and it is the most beautiful, I think I've said most beautiful way too many times, but it's just like a peachy champagne color. It's like a, a nice golden undertone, so it does work on darker skin types, but it's not like a deep bronze gold. Hey, there you are. But, um... So it does work on lighter skin tones as well, but I do find it complements my skin very nicely. This is what I'm wearing. It's very strong, if you can see that. And I will swatch that for you as well. And last but not least, we have lips. This is my favorite part by far, I could say that. And I have the most products, so this might take a little bit. So let's start with what I'm wearing because I don't know, if you're curious, this is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipstick in Guess, which is a very dark, it's like a very, very deep purple. It's like an eggplanty purple, you could say. And it is just the most gorgeous thing in the world. I'm obsessed, and if you like dark lips like me, I think you would love this. And it will dry matte, but here, it almost looks black on my hand, but when you look up close, it is a very dark purple. Staying on the purple train, I have a Sephora Liquid Lip Cream. Is that what it's called? It's a cream lip stain. And this is the color 14 Raspberry. And this is very pretty. It's not nearly as dark, but it is a more purpley, purpley reddish tone. Almost like an orchidy color. It's very, very pretty. And I do like the formulation on these a lot. Keeping up with the dark lips, you know me. I have Sin from MAC, which is a very gorgeous deep red, and this doesn't have um, a very purple undertone to it, like it's not a very brown, it's more like a deep red, and I like that. It's a little bit different for me, and I do really like this. It just reminds me of like leaves and prettiness. Next, I have Tool from ColourPop, another one of their ultra matte lips, and I have used this in a tutorial before. It is this one right here. It is a lot, it's kind of similar to Sin actually. It is, it's kind of similar to Sin. I don't know. It's very, very pretty and I used it in my last tutorial that I posted if you want to see that on my lips. And next I have Whirl. This is their lipstick. It's very popular and well known as a lip liner, but they actually did make a lipstick version of it. And this is a very muted gray brown pink, gray brown, pink mauve color. Um, it's very ashy and can look kind of weird on people. That's why I normally use a darker, more reddish undertone lip liner and blend it in under. It just gives it a little bit more of a contrast on the lips, but it is a very Kylie Jenner-esque lip look. And next we have more ColourPop. This is one of their sheer lippy sticks in the color Tiger. And it looks very dark and scary in the packaging, but it's not it's light and sheer. Who would have thought? It's a very pretty, it's kind of pinky. It's pinkier than the packaging tells you. It's a little bit more pinky purple actually. It's very sheer and pretty and you can build it up to be pretty decently opaque, but it's just more subtle than a very harsh dark lip like I have on right now. And last for the lips, I have a lip liner. This is from Sephora. This is their Nano Lip Liner in Cherry Chestnut. And um, this isn't like anything extraordinary, but I just find that I use this lip liner with pretty much every single one of my dark lipsticks, like my dark brown or red lipsticks. It just works with everything. So it's right here, and it's a muted brown with a red undertone, and it works with all of these pretty much, even though they're not exactly the same. It just, it does a really great job of just blending everything in, and it is a very nice fall-esque color. You could wear it all alone on the lips if you want to do that. Out of all of these, I would have to say Guess is my favorite just because I love how it looks. I think it is so vampy and dark and a little bit crazy, like kind of weird, but I'm like so into it, guys. Like, oh, dark lips are just my favorite. Okay, so I'm kind of in a weird mood, but that's pretty much it for the video. Before you leave, I have a bunch of announcements. Not a bunch, like two, but they're very, very important. So stay around and listen. Number one, I think by now, right now, I like 
as I'm filming this, I do have a thousand subscribers, but it tends to like go up or down like one or two. So I'm not sure if I actually have it like right when this video is posted, but I, I'm pretty sure I will. And thank you guys so, so much. I've been gaining subscribers so much faster lately. And I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me and enjoying my content. I will just keep making it if you guys like it. I just want to make people happy and I love this. Like, if you can't tell, makeup is my shit. It is my passion and I'm all about it. So, thank you guys so much for joining along my little journey along. Um, I don't think that sentence made sense, but <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. That's all I'm trying to say. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for keeping up and thank you for liking and all of that good stuff. And announcement number two, I have made a beauty Instagram. Like finally, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I made a beauty Instagram channel. It is called Sid Biscuit Beauty. No spaces, no underscores or periods or anything like that. Just Sid Biscuit Beauty. And I post pictures of looks like this. I do swatches and I don't know, I just started, and please check that out if you're into that, and that's it. If you liked this kind of messy video, please give it a big thumbs up, I would appreciate it, and I love you guys, I really, really love you guys, and I appreciate all of you dearly, and I will see you guys next week, bye!